In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up Buforia ground plane detection by using the plane finder and also the Buforia ground plane stage. I'm going to also be using the mid air placement to basically place objects in the air as it relates to the position of the planes and the camera. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right, guys, so we're going to start by simply looking at the scene that I have in here, which is ground plane. I also have another scene called mid air, so they have nothing in them. We're going to be creating all the different components. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click in the ground plane in the hierarchy, go to the Foria engine, and then let's look at the ground plane. You're going to have two options. One is going to be plane finder. The other one is going to be ground plane stage. Click on it. As soon as you click on that, it's going to give you a grid, which is going to be 100 centimeters by 100 centimeters. And it gives you an idea of how, you know, how it's going to look when you, basically the area as it relates to the prefab. So I'm going to be using the astronaut, I'm just going to drag it and drop it. And it's going to have the, you know, that figure that Buforia has. And then what I'll do is if you go back in here, you're going to see that we have an anchor behavior. And this component, it's basically just an anchor, right? It's just designating, okay, what type of anchor is going to be. We're going to be using a plane and we're going to be creating that object at that specific anchor. And then it also has something called the default trackable event handler. This is where you can basically bind to, you know, when the target is found, what's going to happen, when the target is lost, what's going to happen. I'm going to show you how we can use some of those. You also have different statuses in here. If you want to do it when it's track, when it's track and extend the track. And then, you know, this one, which if you want to also allow it unlimited tracking, then you can do that as well. So now what we need to do is we need, we need to go back into Buforia engine, then go into a ground plane. And we're going to be adding what's called a plane finder. So this is what's going to be doing basically plane detection. It's going to try to find a plane. As long as it has, you know, a plane that it, it detects, then it's going, to it's going to allow us to basically place our ground plane stage. Now what we need to do is we're going to be selecting the ground plane stage. I'm going to associate, associate that with the anchor stage. And it also gives you an option here if you want to duplicate it. This means like if you already place it, it, does it allow you to create another, basically create another one of these or not? So in different situations, you're going to need to only have one or you can have multiple depending on your experience. And you also have an on content place object in here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be adding another, I have a canvas log here because I want to show you what some of those events are going to mean. So if we go back into the ground plane stage, I'm going to be binding my logger to this one. I actually need to add the the two different events and then the logger is just basically a way for me to to log information so if i go back into here you're going to see that now i have a canvas with the log entry just something simple just so that we can see the events executing then i'll go here and then this one is going to say the on target was found so i'll just do on target found and then i'll just copy that and then on this one i'll just do the same thing i'll just do on target lost and this is going to be helpful because I want to show you how those methods are going to get executed. And then if I go into plane finder, I'm going to bind the logger also to the on content place. So when we place the content, we're going to be able to see the information. I'm just going to do log info. And this one is going to be on content place. Let's go ahead and go back into the stage. And on this one, I'm just going to do a different method. Let's do a warning so we can see that we lost the, we actually lost the target. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit play. I have my camera already connected and I'm going to be emulating that with one of the different assets that Buforia provides. Let me go ahead and go back in here and make sure that we have that assigned. So one thing that we didn't do is we didn't add an AR camera and that is going to be the first thing that you need to do. So what you need to do is go into Buforia engine AR camera and then drag it all the way up. And I just like to start with that and then adding everything else. That's the most important thing. And then go ahead and hit play. Once you do that, it's going to basically use the webcam in my case, because that's what I said as the default. And you're going to see that I now have, uh, it's basically a test image that Buforia provides. And you can see that I have the indicators. And if I want to place that object, you're going to see that now I can place the object, right? We have the, the astronaut. If I want to rotate it, it should also rotate with it. And it's not really accurate with the webcam, but it does, it does a pretty good job in my opinion. So remember that setting that we had set on the, on the plane finder where we can play, basically place multiple. So I could go in here and place another one and I can place another one and another one. 
And, and that's because of that setting, right? Like if I only want to allow one, you can just uncheck that. I'm also going to be adding a light because the model is does, it doesn't look really clear to me. And I'm going to hit play one more time. And now we're going to be, let's go ahead and position my camera. You're going to see the indicators are showing. And now, you know, it shows the model correctly. If I go back and I try to place another one, it's not going to place another one. It's going to reposition the existing one, which is great because that's pretty much what I wanted to do. So that's how that works. We can also see that on target fan was executing. If I go ahead and let me see if I can move it around. looks like it, it lost the target because I repositioned it and then the target was found and then it plays the basically plays the object. So now we know that this is working. The other question that you may have and I covered that in the previous video is okay Dilmer, I have the I want to test it with the webcam. What do you do to do that? All you need to do is just make sure you go to the settings on before you and then make sure you select webcam. If you want to use a simulator recording, you can do that as well. Or if you just want to build it to your device, all you need to do is just go to build settings, make sure you have Android selected, and then you know connect your Android device and then build it and or build it and run. Okay, so that is going to be ground plane. So now that we have done that, how we can do mid-air positioning? And that's where we can have basically a prefab in the mid-air. And I'm gonna do something similar here. We're gonna start, we're gonna start correctly, right? We're gonna do the air camera. Make sure that you do that. And then if you go into the settings, you know, have webcam selected. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Beforia engine. And instead of using ground plane, I'm going to be using meter. And we're going to be adding with adding the stage first. It's going to be the anchor, the object that we're going to be placing. And if you notice now, we have kind of like a different type of indicator here. The other one was a grid, where this one, it's more of a, you know, an X and Y axis and a Z axis. It's basically an indication that it's going to be a meter versus, you know, the plane. So if I go to plane, it's going to change it to a plane. If I go to meter, it changes it to that. And it's basically the same components here that we added when we were using, you know, the plane, the ground plane detection. So that's going to be the first thing. Then what I'm going to do on this one, just to keep it cool, we're going to be doing, instead of doing the astronaut, I'm going to be doing the drone. And I'm going to make sure that I have it sized correctly, which I do 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Remember, this is meters. We need to make sure that we do it, you know, in, you know, smaller sizes. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go into here and then mid air, and then we're going to be adding our positioning. Once you do that, we need to associate, you know, the actual anchor stage, which is going to be mid air. And one thing that this one is a little bit different, we, we don't want to duplicate it to start, just like we did on the other one. And then the distance from the camera, this is where the object is going to appear to start with. I'm going to do, let's do maybe about one. It's going to be one meter away from the camera. You also have, you know, an on anchor position confirm here that you can buy into. Automatically, that's it for you. So you don't need to do that. And then this one is already also assigned. And what we can do here as well, I'm just going to do to the lock. And we're going to do exactly what we did on the other one. I'm going to go here. I'm going to just add these two. And let's go ahead and bind the logger here, the logger here. And I'll just say this one's going to be info. So it's going to be on target found. And again, this is so that you know, you know, what's happening and, you know, what state of things is happening. And this one, I think we did, we actually did warning. So just do a warning. And then I'm going to be checking this into source control so you guys can see what I, you know, how it works. If you guys want to use it, it's fairly simple. And then if I go here, I'll just do, this one's going to be on content place. And I think that's everything that we need to do. We have the camera, we have everything, and I need a light. That's the only thing that I'm going to add as well. And now what I'll do is I'll hit play, and then I'll just position my webcam. You're going to see that. So one thing to notice, though, we need to basically point towards our ground plane because we need a, a frame of reference. So if we don't do that, it's not going to know where to position it, you know, relative to what. You can see that it's now relative to that object, so I can you know, I can place the drone accordingly. And if I place it here, you're gonna see it, that that one gets moved. If we wanna do what we did before where we had multiple, you know, stages created, we just can do the duplicate and then hit play. And then I'm gonna restart the, you know, the, the play mode. And then you can see that it changes kind of like the, the color of that. And then I'm gonna do, we can do another one here, another one here, another one here. I'm gonna go back a little bit so you guys can see how that works. 
And that's how that piece works. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and build the, the first demo scene and I'm gonna show you how it looks on the device. All right guys, so I got the application actually running on my device. You can see that the indicator is working and it's detecting planes. I'm going to be placing the astronaut far away from me because I actually made her a lot larger. And you can see how precise this thing is. The, if I were to press it again, it's gonna reposition her. I can basically place her here, place her there. I can place her there. And everything is, everything is working. So let me go ahead and go down here. And everything is working correctly. There is actually really accurate. I don't see any, you know, movement on the actual astronaut other than you know it's on animations but the anchor positioning is correct so that's basically everything that i wanted to show you today guys if you guys have any questions about this or anything else please let me know in the comments thank you